Welcome to the 2024 Delaware 4-H Hall of Fame. I am Jennifer Krause Hood, president of the Delaware 4-H Foundation, and I'm so pleased you're here to join in the celebration of our 2024 Class of Laureates. Now, let the celebration begin. This evening, we will celebrate laureates who have worked tirelessly to provide lifelong learning opportunities, memories, and support to all of our Delaware 4-H youth by sharing their talents and resources. We will now begin the induction ceremony. Our next inductees are Charlotte and Coulter Passwaters. Charlotte began her 4-H career with her Hugel siblings in the Hollymount 4-H Club. Coulter began in, Coulters began in the Delaware Hen Worker Club in Bridgeville. They were both active 4-Hers who especially enjoyed their time at State 4-H Camp. Together, they supported their children in the Dublin Hill 4-H Club in a variety of 4-H programs and activities. But no one would deny that their passion was for livestock projects. Collectively, these two have dedicated more than 100 years to 4-H livestock as members, parents, or volunteer leaders on local, county, state, and national levels. Shepherd's View Farm was a home not only for the livestock projects of the five Passwaters children, but also for their other club members who didn't have a place to house their livestock projects. For others, it wasn't uncommon for the Passwaters to make middle of the night house calls to help 4-Hers during lambing season. Charlotte and Coulter encouraged 4-Hers to experience all aspects of livestock projects often hosting judging events at their farm. They brought opportunities to see and experience showing on a regional and national level to their club members. They were especially proud to be part of bringing the All-American Junior Sheep Show with nearly 1,000 exhibitors to Delaware in 2011. Charlotte's 30-year career in nursing allowed her to volunteer as the camp nurse on numerous occasions. She also served as Link's president, a junior council advisor, and chaperoned various 4-H activities, including a national 4-H Congress delegation. In 2010, Charlotte received the Delaware Salute to Excellence Lifetime Volunteer Award for Sussex County. Coulter has served his community as a volunteer fireman for over 50 years, and he continues to serve as a member of the Delaware State Fair Board. Congratulations, Charlotte and Coulter Passwaters, are on your induction to the Delaware 4-H Hall of Fame. Well, Colt and I went back and forth about who was going to talk, and I twisted his arm so that he would let me do it. <laughs> Colt and I would like to thank Delaware 4-H and 4-H Foundation for this honor. It really is lovely. Um, we understand that our children nominated us, and that is amazing in itself. Between five children, each in 4-H for 10 years, I made them produce approximately 250 project books and one national record book. And I'm sure there's many in this room that can relate to that wonderful parent-child bonding experience at the end of summer. Yep. In addition, Dad helped them understand the importance of animal husbandry. Uh, that's a nice word for the less pleasant term of uh, barn work. <laughs> and I think they definitely washed more than 250 sheep and cows. So I want to thank all of them um, for also loving 4-H so much that they didn't hold any of that against us. <laughs> so Colt and I first met at the Cherokee Tree when it was next to the dining hall at State 4-H camp. I think he was probably 12 and it was my first year, I was 10. He was hanging upside down from those metal bars next to the little white shed where the mail used to be. And Dana Gooden kept saying, Colter, come over here, get down. Colter, come over here. So I definitely knew who he was. And uh, Colt wanted to make sure that um, he thanked Ted Palmer uh, for losing that bet. <laughs> we are both products of Delaware 4-H in the 70s, as many um, inductees tonight are with Mr. Baker, Ted Palmer, Mary McDonald, and Dean Bell as our agents. The junior leaders loved being together. State camp and state fair just wasn't enough for us. So we cooked up the Capitol Grange dance in Dover, 
over the holidays and we all went there. And then we went to different junior leader weekends and then we decided to do a state branch exchange weekend. So now I'd like to thank those agents and their spouses for the many weekends we took them away from their homes to spend time with us. It was really exciting to hear the news this year about the statewide 4-H dance, showing that 4-H friendships are still the backbone of 4-H. Colt and I became 4-H leaders right after marriage, first with his old 4-H club, the Blue Hen Workers, and then being county leaders for the junior leaders and the livestock club. And of course, we joined to be leaders of Dublin Hill as the kids worked their way through their 4-H years. I think the best, however, has been seeing how much our grandchildren have also enjoyed 4-H. Back in the 70s, the National 4-H came up with a theme, 4-H ain't all cows and cooking. And that still applies today, especially with the new robotics and STEM activities, which is very exciting. However, 55 years later, the cow barn at the Delaware State Fair this year looked awesome. Congratulations to you guys. I appreciate the opportunities that 4-H has given me to travel with our teams to Profiles in Leadership in Washington, D.C. and National 4-H Congress in Georgia. But most of all, the opportunity to return to State 4-H camp many years as the camp nurse and to see the long-lasting 4-H relationships being built again and again in each generation. Colt and I feel extremely lucky to have been able to pass down this wonderful thing we all call 4-H to not only our children, but many youth in Delaware. I don't think making the best better gets old for any of us. Thank you and congratulations to all the inductees.